uh, as a medic, I didn't have enough to do, nothing to do there. So you've, you've pivoted to helping the forensic teams here by uh, bodies, truckloads of, of unidentified people are coming and being dropped off. How difficult is that? You've been sharing with me that some of the truckloads have, have 50 bodies inside. Yes, yes, it's, it's horrible. You know, I've been volunteer for this organization for the last five years, and I saw very horrible things. Accidents, terror actions even, uh, people who, who commit suicides, not easy things at all. But uh, I think I never saw anything close to what I saw in the last three days. Um, just to let you understand, I mean, the first body that I took out from the train, from the truck, excuse me, she was a five or six years old girl. Oh my God. With the blonde hair, with blue eyes, with a terrifying look on her face. It was, I think, the most difficult image I ever saw. An image that will likely never leave you. Probably never leave me, yes. I think you have a one chance, one chance in your life. I hope I'm not going to have enough chance uh, to see just, just such a horrible things. This work, though you believe, uh, is a calling right now um, uh, uh, for, to support your country, to support those who lost their lives. Uh, I see that as a holy mission. I think everybody with, with his own capability should join to effort, effort of the war. And um, I don't think a lot of people can deal with, with bodies and part of bodies and different things like that. And thanks God, I, I have this capability. So uh, this is what I'm best doing. And uh, I'm not, I'm not, I don't have a thick skin or something like that. I just uh, put the thoughts on the side right now because I think right now we are at the survival um, um, and we don't have enough, we don't have time to think about other things. The only thing that I want for me and for my country to keep my family alive, that's it. A difficult task these days. I think so. It's looked like it's going to be difficult. Thank you for your time. Sir. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. Really appreciate it. So as you can see, just a, a sense of, of what people are dealing with, how volunteers uh, are stepping in to try and, and assist in any way possible.